When the market is in an ideal uptrend and the price continues to push higher, it respects demand areas and breaks structures to the upside. In other words, in classical terms, it creates higher highs and higher lows. Each time a structural level is broken, a new demand zone is automatically created. This break of structure is only valid if there is a candle that clearly breaks and closes above the level. Although a wick above this high indicates that buyers were able to extend the boundaries and push the price higher, it also shows an immediate rejection back inside the range. This often resembles a liquidity grab, where stop losses are triggered for traders who went short due to the previous rejection. If we get another break with a full-bodied candle, it signals a valid breakout. At this point, we can identify this level as our recent higher low. As long as the price stays above this level, we remain bullish and focus on buying positions. However, if you spot a strong reversal pattern, you could consider entering a short position, targeting this demand area, as it still acts as strong support for the price. A change in character occurs if we get a break and close below this low. This signals that the dominance of the buyers is now in question, and the market may shift structure and enter a downtrend phase. The same concept applies to a bearish scenario. When the market is in an ideal downtrend and the price continues to push lower, it respects supply areas and breaks structures to the downside. In other words, it creates lower lows and lower highs. Each time the price breaks a structural level to the downside, a new supply area is automatically formed. As long as we stay below this swing high, the price remains in a downtrend, and we are only interested in selling this pair. Here's an example. This is the recent movement of the Euro-Dollar pair on the one-hour chart. You can see how the price respects lower highs and continues to break structure levels to the downside, creating a perfect downtrend scenario. You can clearly identify structure levels, swing highs and lows, and potential trading ideas. If you analyze the price chart and find it hard to see who is in control, it's probably best to move on to another pair. That said, the challenge is that the market rarely moves this clearly. In imperfect trending scenarios, the market might break below higher lows, but still continue in the same bullish direction, confusing traders who think the uptrend is over. These breaks often happen to grab liquidity or mitigate fair value gap areas. So in this video, we're going to discuss imperfect trending markets and how to identify direction without being misled by fake reversals. We'll show you an advanced trading technique to help you distinguish between major and minor swings within the market structure. Finally, we'll cover the concepts of liquidity sweep and fair value gap mitigation. If learning advanced trading concepts, strategies, entry reasons, and how to stay disciplined with your trading plan interests you, make sure to hit the like button to show your support and subscribe to our channel if you are new. Welcome back, traders. Let's get started. Here's an example of what an imperfect trending scenario might look like. At first look, it may appear choppy and lack clear direction. But in this video, we're going to show you a technique that transforms this messy chart into a clear, understandable trend. The key point here is that, in these imperfect trends, it's crucial to focus on the overall structure rather than getting caught up in every minor break. Many of these small reversals are temporary and may only aim to trigger stops or capture liquidity from retail traders. The first concept we're going to discuss is how to identify major and minor swings. When is a swing high or swing low considered strong, and when is it considered weak? In an uptrend, major swing lows are key areas where the break of structure movements begin. This represents the highest price recently traded in the market after breaking a previous high. So the origin of this impulsive movement becomes our major low. A change of character occurs if the price breaks this specific level to the downside. The other swing lows are considered minor, and breaking below them does not indicate a true reversal. Now here's an important point. We can only mark a level as a major swing after a valid break of structure occurs. For instance, this low cannot be identified as a major swing low until a valid break of structure takes place. This is the highest price recently traded, so a break of structure is only valid when the price breaks through this level. As mentioned, only after a valid break of structure can we mark a level as a major swing. Thus, this level is considered a major swing low, 
while the others are minor. Breaking below a minor swing low also indicates a weakening of bullish momentum. If you find a solid reason, such as a reversal liquidity sweep pattern from a higher time frame key level, you could consider going short, targeting the major swing low. This is because, after this level is reached, there's a battle between supply and demand, and we often expect a rejection when the price taps into this major low. However, trading against the main trend can be risky, as it increases the chances of getting stopped out, essentially swimming against the current. Now let's recap the bearish scenario. Being able to distinguish between major and minor swings helps you accurately identify market direction and true reversals. After breaking the lowest recently traded price, the origin of this impulsive move becomes our major high. On the euro dollar one hour chart, we can see one, two, and three moves breaking below this low, forming a trend. The origin of this move becomes our major high. As long as the price remains below this level, the market stays in a downtrend. Let's continue identifying major and minor swings. When the price breaks through and creates a new low, we mark the level where this break of structure originated as the new major swing. If the price only wicks below the recent low, this is not a valid break of structure and is therefore a minor swing. Breaking above a minor swing does not indicate a change in character. A true reversal only happens if we break above the major swing low. We continue identifying major and minor swing lows until we get a valid change of character, signaling a reversal and shifting our bias to bullish. This was the first criterion for identifying a major swing, the origin of a break of structure. There are two more criteria that help us identify major swings and confirm the market direction. Number two, fair value gap. A bullish fair value gap indicates a buy side imbalance, where buying pressure significantly outweighs selling pressure, possibly due to institutional activities. The demand area that created this gap becomes stronger and we expect a rejection when the price taps into this area again. From the imbalance perspective, demand areas with fair value gaps are considered major swings, while those without imbalances are regarded as minor swings. Breaking below a major swing that created an imbalance signals a significant shift in trading momentum and a potential reversal. The same concept applies to bearish scenarios. Here we have three price examples. The first one does not show a break of structure or an imbalance, so it is considered a minor swing. Breaking below this level does not indicate a shift in momentum or a reversal. The second one is the origin of this breakout but lacks the imbalance. Therefore, it is considered a major swing but with only one star. The third one is the origin of the breakout and has created an imbalance, making it a major swing with two stars. I hope this isn't confusing. So far, we have discussed two criteria that make a swing point important and major. Before we dive into the third and final criterion, let's look at a trading idea. Here we have a major swing low that originates this break of structure. We also have another swing that created an imbalance. This level is considered a strong swing, even though it lacks a breakout. When the price returns to this level, we expect a rejection. However, if the price breaks below it, that indicates bearish momentum. This scenario often occurs when the price taps into a higher time frame key level. Now, we can take short entries in this inverse fair value gap area, targeting the major swing low because it continues to act as strong support for the price. Now, let's explore the third and final criterion that helps us identify a major swing, the distance pushed by the price. Look at this example. Here, the latest move has created an imbalance and broken the structure level to the downside. By definition, it is a major swing low. Does breaking above this high represent a valid change of character? If you answered no, can you guess what is wrong with this case? The issue with this move is that it lacks sufficient distance pushed by the price. If you measure the previous impulsive movement, that is over 60 pips, while the recent one is only 20. Therefore, this high does not qualify as a major swing, and breaking above it does not indicate a valid change of character. So here comes an important point. To identify a level as a major swing, the distance it pushed must be at least half of the previous impulsive movement. 
This is our third and final criterion for identifying major swing points. Now take a look at these examples. In the first example, none of the criteria we discussed are met, so it is considered a minor swing point. In the second example, we have a break of structure and a significant distance pushed by the price, but there is no imbalance. Therefore, this is considered a major swing with two out of three criteria met. Here we have imbalance, a significant distance, but no valid break of structure. So this is also considered a major swing point with two stars. In the final example, this swing has created imbalance, broken structure, and shown proper distance. Therefore, it is a major swing point with three stars. Breaking below this low signifies a valid change of character, a complete shift in market direction and momentum, or whatever you want to call it. So far, we have discussed how to identify major swings and valid changes of character. I would like to add that there are two exceptional scenarios that make a change of character invalid. These two scenarios are liquidity sweep and fair value gap mitigation concepts. This might seem complicated, but it will make sense in a minute. Here, we have a major swing low that originated this breakout. Breaking below this level signals a valid change in character. However, if you look at the left-hand side, you'll notice that this level is positioned in a significant area of liquidity. Many traders have opened long positions at this level previously, placing their stops below it, which means that a large amount of liquidity lies beneath it. To hunt these stop losses, smart money often pushes the price lower to engage the liquidity and then continues in the same bullish direction. Here's an important point. When a major swing is located in a key liquidity area, Breaking through that level is considered a liquidity grab and does not necessarily indicate a reversal is coming. Keep in mind that in this scenario, we cannot identify this break as a valid change in character. If the price returns inside the range, it provides a great opportunity to enter a long position. The overall direction is still bullish, the smart money has engaged the sell side liquidity, and the next target would be the buy side liquidity. As smart money traders, we aim to enter a position after the stop losses have been hunted. The liquidity sweep was the first concept on this subject. There is actually another concept that can violate the change of character, which is the mitigation of fair value gaps. Now we all know that a fair value gap refers to the space between the wicks of three consecutive candles on a price chart. Regardless of the candle's color, when the upper wick of the first candle does not overlap with the lower wick of the third candle, we mark this area as the fair value gap. If you are a smart money trader, identifying the fair value gap should be one of the first things you do when you open the trading chart. But why do we need to identify fair value gap areas on the chart? Aside from the reasons we discussed earlier, the market usually returns to these areas to fill them because these zones represent inefficiencies in price movement. These inefficiencies, also known as imbalances, often indicate a lack of liquidity in those regions. Large institutional players tend to fill these gaps to rebalance orders and ensure smoother price action, allowing the market to continue in a more stable and efficient manner. Therefore, fair value gaps can become a magnet for the price before continuing in the same direction. Intraday timeframes are best for identifying fair value gaps. Intraday means timeframes of less than one day, such as four hours, one hour, or less. Fair value gaps can be used on any asset, but they are most effective with assets that have high trading volume, meaning a large number of people are actively trading them. This is true for Forex pairs, stocks, cryptocurrencies, and futures. With that said, let me show you how the mitigation of a fair value gap area can violate a change of character. If we return to the previous example and look at the left hand side, you can see that there is an unmitigated fair value gap exactly below the major swing. In cases like this, the price usually pulls back to the fair value gap zone to regain balance, which does not indicate a true reversal. It's important to check the left side of the market structure to determine whether the move is just filling the gap or if there's a real shift in market sentiment. This helps avoid false signals and ensures you're trading in alignment with the broader market direction. Before we wrap up, always remember, that while identifying fair value gaps and shifts in market structure are powerful tools, 
Mastering smart money concepts requires patience and consistent analysis. No single strategy is foolproof, but by refining your understanding of these concepts and combining them with proper risk management, you can significantly improve your edge in the markets. Keep studying the charts, stay disciplined, and let smart money lead the way. So guys, I hope this video provided value to you. If it did, please smash the like button to show your support. And if you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel as we publish many advanced concepts. See you in the next episode.